that, we have Roy versus Mara. Shiki Three, two, one, go! No. So, Korn's one of those characters that's kind of like really falling off. In terms of, uh, not usability, but just like how much you So, I actually don't know which one is which by, like, their tags. You got it. I did? Okay. Yeah, you got it. Good job. Good stuff. Alright, cool. Alright. See, like... I don't know, man. Corn's kind of... Corn makes me feel so Character's still kind of annoying, but definitely, like, lost her edge. You know, because she's still, like, a distance team. But she's Which also like really pretty good. gosh darn slow, so. Oh, okay, I actually like that. That's an underutilized bit. Is that, there's that. That's not <laughs> true, though, I'm pretty sure. What, uh... Getting hit by charge F-Smash into actual F-Smash. That wasn't true in Smash 4. I can't imagine it's true now. I'm pretty sure it's character-dependent, but, like, you're still able to, uh... If you start smash di like, you can smash di her technically if you're in the air mm -hmm. but if you're on the very nice game uh if you're on the ground it's a lot harder because you kind of probably need to punish your face uh but it really depends like on how quickly your character falls because you are going to be held in place in front of her so it's basically the uh you have to make that judgment call is it jesus christ okay <laughs> um you have to make that judgment call like is my character am i gonna die Good. If I eat a fully charged F smash at the base, or do I want to try to risk it, smash DIing out slash through, depending on like how my character is, uh, how fluid my character is, or how big my character is. But it's not like super easy to do. That was a really good uh, bait out. Did I not? <laughs> I only did the last one? Okay. <laughs> it was so good. Let's see it again. I just want to point out like the bait out on the, uh, on the get up option of the ledge. Let's see it again. You say something? I said, can we see it again? Sure. You can see, like he had a sh he knew King Stitch was gonna was gonna try to do a panic option to get up, and he stood in a range where he was trying to bait out something out of get up or either a get up attack. So that was a pretty good coverage of both of the options by uh, by Christian. Very good. And it looks like Christian is switching to Violet. The King Stitch is doing something that a lot of opponents are uh, very careful about. Like, standing in shield can be really good depending on your opponent. Depending on your opponent. It can be very dangerous, especially if you're playing Roy. Because Roy likes to play a game where he tries to get him as many sprints as he can at a safe distance until he gets that first really weak confirm with his tipper, uh, his tipper range. And then at that point, he's allowed to go in and kind of go nuts and get the hit that he wants. So King Snitch really just wants to try to play a little more proactively with how he's poking and prevent uh, Christian from really getting the uh, getting set up. That was a pretty good upbeat from uh, Christian. I kind of want to see a little bit more movement from Roy because, like, you, and it's, use yeah. use your speed to your advantage. Like, Christian plays both slow characters, like. Take advantage of the fact that you can like go for whiff punishes and, and like uh, cross ups. Like you don't have to always like go in with a button, or you don't have to go in to like make sure your button like connects. Because like if they if it's too telegraphed, they're just gonna you're just gonna hit their shield and it's not gonna matter. 
Also, correct me if I'm wrong, but doesn't Roy's up B out of shield have uh, invisibility frames for startup? Roy's, I have no idea. I can look it up. Let, I'm gonna, I'm about to check it out. I don't, <laughs> I don't think so, but... Of course, I'm going to the 20 billion frames. Super armor on frames 4 through 10 on the ground. Tangible on frame 9. So it does in fact have one frame of invincibility, but it has super armor for a very large chunk of it. So every time that uh, that Christian is dropping in on a stitch, he could just up B out of shields. If he, uh, if he sees it, especially with Nair, where it's not 100% active the whole time, I'm fairly certain. Let me double check that one more time. But that is like an option that he has because during those three frames. Kind of flub that juggle with uh, that sword dance. Please stop doing sword dances like that. No. Okay, so Nair is actually active the. Yeah, Nair is actually active the entire time, but the main thing is that it isn't. Uh, okay, pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, smash punish. Is that it's not um, an, a sphere covering Violet's entire body to the end. It's actually a chain flipping around, which of course it should be. What move are we talking about? Violet from there. Because you can see, like, uh, Christian keeps dropping on top of this dish from there. It's really yeah. important to, to be able to punish that. If you have, if you know your opponent has something to do with that, so it's very important to understand the drop instead of punishing it. A B at a shield is a kill move, and it's a Pretty decently strong punish if you're using it properly. But of course, you have to like have enough confidence to try to sneak that in there, which can be really tough. I know when I fought uh, when I fought the Roy's like Red Light especially, uh, he was a really big fan of being like, "Oh, you touched my shield with a not multi hit, or even with a multi hit, then I'm pretty sure uh, you're trying to do retreating. It's time to do upbeat because it's gonna, it's probably gonna reach you, and you're gonna die for this." But you know what? Overall, a uh, better performance from uh, from King Stitch than Game One. Uh, I would like to see him do a little more dash dancing, like you were saying, his movement was really uh, was a little bit lethargic. Like you could really feel like he was thinking too hard about how he was trying to approach the, uh, the matchup. So he ended up taking a lot of extra damage that he probably shouldn't have. Mm -hmm. could have spent like trying to poke. Like, if you have your character has speed, you should try to use it as much as possible. Not to access, of course, because uh, movement can also become predictable, but it is a lot harder to react.